Welcome to the Eyeball Podcast, episode one. I wrote some shit down today. So I'm not freestyling how I used to in the old videos. But episode one today will be titled Know Yourself, Build a System, and Live in Your Peace. Let's get straight down to the to the answers. This is not to sway or gain followers or subscribers. This is to teach and educate. Know yourself. We're just going to stick on this section right now. The word God is a man-made word. If anybody can comment in my comments below and tell me they've seen God and God has told them their name is God, his name is God, please let me know in the comments below. I just had a kid and I was already aware of this, but it's more clear to me to understand that my kid has no understanding of what is going on around him until something is filled or put into his mind. Some of the first things that's gonna be put into my son's mind is knowing who you are or discovering who you are. He's going to be listening to me and his mother, but as he gets older, I'm going to transition him to really know yourself because at the end of the day, it's you. It's you. I can't always be there for you. God can't. A lot of people, a lot of humans like to put the blame on God. And a lot of humans don't even know themselves because they're literally being programmed and controlled by whatever, you know, um, stimulates their minds you know some people like to party some people like to have sex some people like to do drugs some people like to get a lot of money some people like to you know to each his own but yeah god is a man-made word and i just wrote not going to speak too much on this because it's up for your uh imagination i'm not here to sway or persuade anybody to think or do anything I'm just here to educate and inform people on this platform called YouTube. Yeah. And if you know, you know. Like, if you know what I'm talking about, you know. But if you don't know, I hope you discover this on your journey with life. Whatever life is called. Whatever this is called, you know. And also, just wanting everybody to know, like, this is free knowledge, free. Like, I knew this at a very young age, like very very young age a lot of people discover this uh later in their lives with the things that they can do just individually like the things that they see themselves doing individually can spark that confidence to activate this superpower that people like to say that pretty much dim your dim your superpower down and i have this on my chest too because i grew up christian so I'm very, I was very religious and in a Christian background. You can do anything you put your mind to. If I know that and you know that now, there should be nothing that's stopping you from knowing who you are and what you are and what you want to do. So many other humans have, have lived a life and they have done what they wanted to do on top of doing even more things because, you know, you can do anything you put your mind to. And to get away from the mind, because all of our minds are uniquely different, I want to just speak specifically about the body. Right now, I'm 30 years old. I don't look 30. A lot of people judge me or view me from the outside appearance, which they have no idea who I am from the inside. And I sort of like feel disrespected a lot. I used to when I was younger, but I can understand because the human mind is kind of slow. Like y'all are, y'all judge things from the outside, not knowing the inside and that's kind of like that's kind of like the easiest I like to say the chameleon effect because you have no idea who you're talking to you have no idea who you're around so the best thing to do is to always have respect for yourself and most people that don't have respect for themselves they're very careless about what they do to other people does that make sense I'm gonna give you a moment to pause though to soak all that in because sometimes I talk fast 
Uh, but yeah, to just speak back on to the body, I'm 30. I've been eating healthy ever since uh, I came to Thailand because I had a experience when I was living in China. And with my celebrity status and after games, I would go out. The people at the venues would give me free drinks to promote for them or just give me free drinks. And I was very young. I didn't have real discipline at the end. I ain't going to say I didn't have guidance because I'm always guided. You're always guided by something. You just don't know what it is. But I just didn't have the discipline to understand what I was doing at the time. And I had this huge alcohol, alcoholic moment where I almost died from alcohol poisoning. And I really like, I needed that because when I came to Thailand, I went on like a 40 day fast, 40 days, just water. You can even look, I'm going to try to put a picture up of me when I played professionally in Thailand in 2020 for Bon Bon. Uh, my whole body changed. People thought I was sick. People like my mom was like, why are you not eating? You need to eat some more chicken. And in my head the whole time, I'm cleansing my body and my spirit because now I'm aware of what, I don't know what took place after, you know, once you get drunk, it's like enough is enough. Like I just told myself, I'm not going to drink no more. And I haven't drank since 2020 and I feel and look great. My, my energy levels are great. My skin feels good. I don't, you know, I don't have excess baggage holding me back from wherever I want to go in life. So you got to focus on what you eat and put inside your body. The same thing that you they used to tell us back in the day. Be careful what you put in your mind. Be careful what you eat like because you're going to turn into that. Now I understand this. Well, I always understood this, but I'm what they have like checks, verified checks on social media. This is a verified fact that I've experienced. I've studied, like I studied humans ever since I was two years old. Like before when I was from the ages of two to 15, I didn't talk that much like I do right now because I didn't have much to talk about. I think people in their early ages should be observant because what the fuck is going on? And once you understand like what is going on and try to get to an answer of what is going on, you can sort of move on to the next step because a lot of people miss this step. Health is wealth. I own a coffee shop in Thailand and Asia. And I noticed with the customers, there'll be customers that come every day in the morning. They get like three or four coffees. It's like regular. And it just reminded me of all the drug addicts that used to be around the block. I'm trying to think of the street address. It's like out in North, out in North Nashville, actually. This was right when they was building the the nice homes, I guess, like gentrifying the places. And you will see the same people. It's like clockwork. Coffee is not supposed to be abused. Just like drugs aren't supposed to be abused. Nothing's supposed to be abused. But nobody's telling us and nobody's taking upon themselves to understand the limits of coffee and what coffee do. For example, coffee is like a stimulant. It gives people energy. That's what everybody tells me. I don't drink coffee, but... My girl used to drink it. She just drinking it. She don't eat anything the rest of the day. And I thought that was just so weird. Like you can drink coffee and not feel hungry, but have energy. That sounds like a drug to me, but if you take care of your body, your mind will, will register. You'll have clearer thoughts. You'll feel better. You won't feel so sluggish. You won't feel so lazy. A lot of y'all are lazy because of the stuff that y'all eat. I stopped eating McDonald's a long I stopped eating fast food a long time ago too. And if you can't stop eating fast foods, I understand. Like I'm not I'm not trying to say like, oh I got money. It ain't really about money. It's just about having a discipline to sacrifice, you know, those extra uh cookies, those extra chips, that extra meal. You can sacrifice that for an apple. And I went on a fast, like I told you, I went on a fast in 2020, and I'm in some of the great shape. Like, I have all my muscle. My skin is feeling fresh. Like, I'm feeling fresh every day. This is the way to live. And nobody taught me this. I had to literally go through this with experience of being an inexperienced international professional basketball player thrown into the world. Like, I experienced, I know this ain't just for me. This is for humans. Because I've experienced this with other people. Like I've, I've 
taken what I know and I've sort of played with it with my girl, with my friends, with my kids, with my teammates. And my teammates have also taught me things. And it's so similar. Like rich people don't eat. Rich people, they, they take care of their bodies. And in rich and poor is not a is not a money value. When I talk about rich and poor, I'm more on a Bob Marley type of aspect because he was he's a he's a, a big voice in my head. Like he's still alive. He's in me. He's in his family, the Marley family and things like that. So I'm very aware of uh, what I do and what I say. So it's not about I'm trying to influence you to do anything. I'm just telling you for people that maybe have issues with knowing yourself know exactly what you are and who you are if you listen and do those things that I told you about. You'll realize that your body is actually a computer. Your body heals your, yourself. When you put bad food in it, your body is fighting that. And a lot of people don't realize your body gets immune to bad food. Just like if I smoke or when I used to drink a lot, you know, you'll drink one week and let's say I've been drinking for a month. Now my body is immune or my body is numb. Another example is like a girl that be getting cheated on by the same guy. They going through the same process to the point that now she five years into this trauma. She's numb to this. Her body and her mind, she's cool with this. But in reality, you're actually hurting yourself because stress is a, is a hormone that can kill your body. Because what are you stressing about? You're stressing about the thing that you're thinking about. Why are you thinking about this? Just helped you start your problems that just helps you start your issues but just understand like what i just said try to understand and if you don't you can leave a comment i'm always willing to talk if i had time i don't really fuck with people but hopefully this could change somebody somebody's life for the better you can know yourself you want to try to eat good you want to start to do good habits you want to start to build on good things don't get comfortable. Oh, I'm going to eat healthy one day out of seven days. And I'm going to be 100 with you. Sometimes when I travel and we plan, you know, we stay at hotels. They don't have all the healthy meals all the time. I'm going to let you know the experience that I had. Uh, I ate KFC for the first time in like six years. That shit fucked up my whole insides. And then I thought that same day, I grew up eating that. And I... I grew up eating hot Cheetos, chitlins. Like, I grew up eating such bad foods to the point that, you know, kids' bodies are very strong and amazing. I was immune to that shit to the point that after I got super healthy and I went back to trying to eat the same shit, I can't enjoy pepperoni pizza no more. I used to love that shit. I used to love burgers and fries and, and hot Cheetos and shit like that. But my purpose is to live long so I can, you know, enjoy my family and be able to pass down information and, and enjoy real love because I haven't experienced that until uh, my son was born like real love because the love that I have for him brought our whole family together like when he was born I looked at my my girl different I looked at myself different I looked at this as an opportunity from God that I can create this if I really want it I really want peace and love. I can create this. So know yourself. And then you can create the things. But let me go to the next one. Is build a system. System. What is a system to you? I ain't got to give you no Google definition. All this other shit. But everybody should know what a system is. And if you don't know what a system is. Just Google it. System is. There's nothing wrong with having a system. Just like there's nothing wrong with believing in a God. Or there's nothing wrong with eating bad food. It's just like, what next? Like, why are you... I don't know if it's like normal that people like just live life and they don't have no type of purpose. But I think you should have a purpose on what type of system you want for yourself. And for any system, any system, it takes discipline, faith, and good morals. That's what the system that I want to build. I'm talking just me personally. There's so many systems that you can jump into. But the system that I created, it has to do with discipline, faith in yourself, and good morals, which I come from a Christian background. So the story of Jesus and the seed of pain that he went through, that is the 
foundation of my family and my system. You know what I'm saying? Like, we all going to have to go through situations where it's painful. I've been through experiences where it, it hurt me to my heart to know about certain friends, to know about certain situations, to know about certain truths. But I couldn't let that stop me. So I went to a... a I went through a phase where, you know, you get so, like, emotionally unstable because you don't know the answer to the point that you come across the answer. And I came across this through a seminar about building a system. And I just thought, like, why why I just don't do this with myself and my girl and my kid? Nobody else got to follow our system. But it's like my system can work anywhere, though, like discipline. Faith in yourself and good morals, Christian morals, that could work anywhere in the workforce, in school, discipline, faith in yourself, good morals, like that could work anywhere. Some people build a system to get more money. But you got to, for me, you got to balance that out because you got to think about the emotional support that your workers need. A lot of people get so caught up in the money, money, money. That's why I don't really take Asian people serious because they don't have a true foundation of of something. They they true foundation is money. So you would be working for a Chinese or an Asian or somebody in corporate. They don't give a fuck about your feelings or your sick mother or you got to take care of your kid and you can't be with your kid. They're going to use you until they can't use you no more because they need the money. That's the system. Money, money, money. So be careful what type of system you want to create or you want to be a part of. And just know that you have choice if you know yourself. But that's step one. This step two. Once you know yourself, build a system. And then step three. Live in your peace. Right now, there are some people that are living in their peace right now. And right now, there's some people that are living in pain. Right now, there's some people that's living in just like they don't have nothing like they don't like they're just like walking dead i know you know some people you probably one of the people that's just like hey this is what life is supposed to be like so i'm gonna go to work and stay out the way and stuff like that you have percent correct when you live in your peace you have to think about your privacy that's not such a popular thing anymore because everybody want attention everything that's popular you should probably try to do the opposite but don't listen to that because you're going to fuck around and misuse or misinterpret what I just said. A lot of people, they chasing attention, but to live in your peace, you're going to have to find a private place, a comfortable place within yourself, within your group. So you don't stress yourself out because a lot of people are stressing themselves out. A lot of people my age, they don't even have a hairline. And that's when I realized like why people look so old it's because of the stress that they put upon themselves that's why i don't fuck with a lot of niggas like if a nigga look like he he bald or he ain't got his hair it's like i i ain't even trying to be around you i know you stressing about something because life ain't even that bad in 2024 and most of y'all niggas want to survive back in the day because y'all don't even know how to fight or do nothing that could help society you can't even change a tire now motherfuckers can't even stay out in the sun for hours you not know, like, chill out. There's a bunch of bitches out in the day, but try to stay away from these people and find your peace in life. Mm, I put some examples just with business. I think I talked about that. Just, uh, you know, you don't got to work for nobody that don't respect you. Like, save, your, save the energy to stress. You're going to stress about them working you to death anyway. You might as well stress about just starting over. And once you start over, guess what? The hard part's about to come. Because mommy and daddy can't baby you or give you a job and control you no more because you don't want to be controlled by mommy and daddy, right? You don't want to be controlled by your boss no more, right? So guess what? You're going to have to do the hard part. And trust me, there's a reward at the end. You're going to have to create your own peace. You're going to have to create your own ways of getting money. And I ain't going to lie to you. I started my company, my hoop school, in 2020 I ain't start making money from that until four years after that think about that four years I wasn't making no money I kept losing money 
because I was believing in myself. My mother wanted me to give up on the hoop school. My mother wanted me to give up a lot of shit. But I'm the type of person, I don't give a damn. I'm not going to give up on my dreams. And I just kept praying and kept staying focused. And I was like, it's going to, it's one, somebody going to recognize my gift. And I was around a lot of people that, you know, when you're around a lot of, a lot of leeches and a lot of people that hate on you, it's hard to get what you truly deserve. I'm going to say that again. When you're around a lot of people that hate on you and they just there for the moment, but you ain't really popping like you're supposed to, these people are really hating on you. And just know it comes with that. Like, that's the beauty of the journey. You're going to have to learn how to fight for yourself. You're going to have to learn how to stand up for yourself. That's the battle. That's the beauty. And let's say once you create your job or create your business, bro, that's heaven. I make more money than any any job can offer me now. I don't have to do anything like that I don't want to do. And that's a feeling that um, I think everybody deserves to feel like that. I'm not saying I'm not going to be responsible. Like, I still have to take care of my son. I still got to take care of my family. I still got to take care of my girl because don't forget what I talked about when I built my system. My system is built on discipline, faith in yourself, and good morals. Which goes back to the Christian beliefs. Like, discipline. I don't care if she gets me upset. That's my wife. We're not business. That's why I don't I don't have friends, bro. Friends and business partners, like, just put them all under associates. Because when you leave, bro, it, it is what it is. Y'all business workers. That's your boss. That's not your friend. My girl used to, I used to see this a lot. When my girl used to hang with her friends and they eat together in the lunchroom, like, this bitch ain't your friend. These people ain't your friend. Y'all just work together. Yeah, but she's really nice. And y'all just be gossiping all day. Y'all ain't think about nothing to escape this shit or think about getting no money. Y'all cool in the time. Just like the dudes in jail. How I know that. I got dudes in jail. My girl looked at me like, yeah. You can't even see. She can't even see our son because she got to go to work during that time. I'm like, no. Something ain't right, but you accept it, but I just don't accept it. I can do something. I can control this, though, just like you can control how you react in certain situations. When I was young, I used to be so, like, ready to, I'm, I'm about that shit. I got too much to live for now. I'm too blessed as it is to allow someone to stress me out and send me to the grave earlier than I'm supposed to be going. I'm not going to allow that because now you're taking me away from my family and family is everything so people that are scared to to quit their jobs or quit situations or uh, uh maybe you've been friends with this dude for a long time but you don't see that they've just been waiting to use you and now that you've been used they're gonna see how far they can use you that's how most people do most most men are manipulated like this especially men that talk with younger girls or they have younger boys as workers like that's a manipulation tactic because they want to feel like it's a sense of control. Like, it's weird. But I'm not, like, scared to say it because I'm not, like, ain't nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is. Like, it ain't that serious. Like, it just is what it is. And I just took the, the cat out the hat. But it's just, like, I know how you feel, whoever's in that situation. I just want you to know that you have an option. I'm not here to persuade you to quit your job today. But I just want you to know that you are loved and you have an option. Yeah, business friends, bridges burn. Don't feel bad about that shit, man. Because if you stressing about burning a bridge with a friend and they not on that same type of time, they ain't really care about you as much as you cared about them. They was really just going to use you. And then as soon as you have your little fight and you burn your bridge, guess what? They moving on. They know, oh, I'm sorry about what I did. Oh, I'm sorry about disrespecting you. Oh, I'm sorry about, you know, how I made you feel. There's no accountability in 2024. So what I've learned, the best thing to do is to just walk away. And the best thing to do is not say nothing. Best thing to do is to let them have that. Because at the end of the day, you really winning. Because I know some dudes that fought with me about some shit that they tried to make me believe that I was wrong. Those same dudes, them same girls, is still in the same position that they were in. They just got a little bit more d dirtier and and older, they look older. Most people that be looking stressed, it's for a reason. 
It's something they ain't doing right. <laughs> but yeah, man, this is my first ever episode. I maybe don't have that many people on here because I don't fuck with people like that. I was going to invite people, but I want this to be authentic for my son, for my family, for my close, you know, friends that I, you know who you are, uh, to get to get information about, you know, things that's helped me in my life, things that could probably help you with your life because it's only going to get harder. You feel me? So it's best that, you know, you learn quicker than later. It's sooner than later. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, this is the Eyeball Podcast. This is episode one. Know yourself. Build a system. And live in your peace. This is your host, Kamani Eyeball Hodges. You feel me? Uh, International basketball player. Coffee shop owner. Basketball school owner. Mentor. Father. Husband. The list goes on. And every single day that you wake up, it restarts. That's a quote. That's a, I want to teach y'all something. I'm going to give y'all another key before I leave. My girl respects me and people that are really, like, like contagious of me. Like, I know people that really love me. Like, they really love me and what I stand for and who I stand for. My girl really fucks with me because she knows that I'm not content with the title of being a good person or being a good man or being a good basketball player. Every day I wake up, I know that this is a new start. Maybe I was a good man to my girl yesterday, but guess what? I have to continue the same discipline, the same faith in myself, the same good morals to remind my girl that this is who I am. This isn't what I'm trying to be. This is who I am. A lot of y'all are trying to be something that you're not and just be who you are. But you want to be something that's something. If you really look back and look at the character and the type of person you are, the type of human you are, it's a reason why you don't have the life you have. It's a reason why you don't know the things I know. But my girl respect me and she says she loves me. It's not because of the things that I give her because I don't give her nothing. I don't pay for nothing from her. I don't, I didn't. I didn't lead the relationship with money. I led with who I was. I let her know I wasn't like nobody else. I let her know we going to get married. We going to stay together for the benefit of our family and and the legacy that I'm going to leave. And she looked at me like, I could tell her, I could tell she knew I was not playing. And she's been with me for four years. The best thing in life to live by is actions speak louder than words. My son, KJ, have you seen this? Remember this. He going to know this. I know he's going to know this, but it's like actions speak louder than words. So if you're watching this and your life ain't changed in the next three months or the next six months or the next year, you got to keep watching this. You got you to gotta really get this. And everything will change have to continue to be disciplined have to continue to show that you're a good person have to continue to be who or whatever you're supposed to be that's the whole point of discipline that's the whole point of maturity that's the whole point of growth when we were kids there's a time and place for everything there's a time and place for everything I've grown to this to this stage in my life where, you know, I'm proud of who I am. I love life. I love the life I created. I love the people in my life. And I hope you can feel the same way before your life passes you by. Deuces. <laughs>